Good morning, everyone. Today we're starting things off with some online classes. Luke has actually already done two online or Zoom preschool classes this morning. In those, he does a lot of singing, he learns letters, he learns a little bit of counting. One of the classes is really focused on speech therapy in addition to his preschool stuff. So uh, he usually does a craft in that one and she goes over like colors and tries to get him say, she was having him say up today. Trying to get that closed P sound before saying the next word. So like up dog or up balloon, stuff like that. So they were working on that today and, uh, and he made a little craft and I wanna show it to you. Can you show me what you made in class today? What'd you make in class today? Yeah. A polar bear. A polar bear? Polar bear. Is that your polar bear? Oh my goodness, did you make it out of a plate? Yeah. That is so cool, can I see it? It's a polar bear. It is a polar bear, I love it. Should we put it up on the wall? Yeah. Okay. Paper. We gotta find some tape. Hmm. 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 Here's a roll. Here's an old dispenser, maybe we can make Make something out of this. I'm not feeling the end of this tape. Oh, there it is. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. No! It's tearing down the middle. Why? Okay. You want it next to the pigeon? Yeah. Okay. Got a little piece of tape here, and it's gonna go right here. Next to the pigeon. So we've got your polar bear. We have your pigeon with the hot dog. The hot dog. And these drawings, did you do these drawings? Yeah. Those are nice drawings. What are they of? Uh, they're blueberries. They're blueberries? Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got your turkey hat that you made for Thanksgiving. Yeah. And your corn that you made with Duplos. You dipped Duplos into some paint and made this, this corn. That's a really nice little wall of, of stuff you made there. Yeah. You happy with it? Thank you. Thank you for making our house so beautiful. Yeah. Parker has an online story class that he does every once in a while, and he's encouraged to do crafts or projects while the story is being read to him. It's a really cool class. And he had like a kiwi crate. Is that what this is? Mm -hmm. He had a kiwi crate. He brought this contraption into my room. It was like, Dad look at this thing and I don't know what it does but I'm excited to see because it, it is a very cool looking contraption. It's right here. Whoa! That is so cool! Yeah, so you can also like adjust where it goes. So like I can make it go up and I can also make it go down and fly. Like this. Wow, it flies a lot faster like this. I didn't know it could fly this fast. Like, so you built this thing. It was just little pieces of wood and like, like a straw and stuff? It was. Did they get you? Did it break? I don't know. Wait. Oh, there it goes. What's that sound? Yeah, let's stop it. Take a look. Oh, it looks like this got pushed in a little bit. Maybe that's what it is. Uh oh, we're having some some engine trouble. 
A little bit of engine trouble. I think I know what happened. Good. Oh, <laughs> it's down low. Oh my gosh. It was like down low and it brought itself up. I wonder if you could adjust like the tail or the wings to make it start down low and go all the way up. Like a real airplane does. So what I'm trying to do is I'm starting it down low and let's see if this changes anything to make it go higher, like a real one. And it's going up higher. And yeah, that's how it goes. Well, maybe it'll go higher like so close to my neck right now. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> ooh, and then we can flip these down. Oh, see if it'll go down? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see. No, I think it's just going across. It's going down a little bit. Really? A little bit. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's going down. I didn't think it would go down because I thought it would just go across the way. But it's going down. It used to be like up here. Now it's, oops, that's really cool. So Jacob has also been in several online classes today, but in between classes, he sneaks up here to my room and this is where my desk is. It's a mess, I'm sorry, but I've got some cool stuff here like my very cool Lego picture. And then I only have four of the kids up here but somebody that watches our videos drew these, painted these, and they've been up on this wall since we got them. And a very high-powered computer, which is yep. why Jacob likes it up here. Yeah. <laughs> what are you working on? Um, Blender. For those of you who don't know, Jacob is really into 3D rendering and a little bit of animation, dabbling in that a little bit, and he uses the program Blender, which is a free program uh, it's like open source, so it's called yep. open source. Open source. And he has become quite proficient in it. And he has been building this little, it looks like a little like mech creature. Yeah, this is my little mech here. It's not textured yet, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool, pretty detailed. Kind of experimenting with some box modeling. I just decided to kind of experiment with Eevee. What's Eevee? It's a rendering engine. So there's Cycles and there's Eevee. Cycles looks like this. That's and Cycles? Yep, that's Cycles. And this is Eevee. I'd say Eevee looks better. I know you would say that, but if you were rendering gra glass or something, Cycles is much better. I don't know, I'm not rendering anything. Okay, that so. ball just ate your, your mech. Yeah, I know. I'm making a glass material to show you. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is this is glass. It doesn't it doesn't look like glass, but if we change it to cycles, it looks much more like glass. Okay, so if you want something to be captured in a crystal ball like the labyrinth, <laughs> okay, it, you've got to use those cycles. It's just that's a, what I'm learning. It's just a better rendering engine. It, it's not real time, but it's better. This is. Uh, windshield. So that'll be glass, the windshield? Yes. So you're gonna have to use those cycles is, is what my recommendation would be. Um, I might have to use the cycles. Yeah, you gotta use those cycles. Probably. Oh, Jake, that's, that's nodes. Yeah, that's nodes. See, I know some things. Here, I, I know all about that. Here are some more nodes. So what is this? This is a different mech. Yep. Um, this is pretty cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, yeah, it's kind that of looks basic. Like, that looks like uh, cycles to me, is what I would say. Yep, so, this so is, some, this is some cycle nodes. Some cycles. It's not Eevee. Oh, it looks like a video game in Eevee. Yeah, they render video games in Eevee. Okay. Because it's real time. Got it. Do they use okay. Eevee for, like, the Mandalorian backgrounds? I think they have just a really powerful computer. Do you think they use nodes? Yes. Do you think they use but cycles? No, I don't think they use cycles because they have a different, they use something like cycles. I'm pretty sure. That little guy exploring on a dusty Martian landscape. 
Yeah, the landscape I'm still working on. You know a lot about this stuff. Yeah. Are you making a video uh, with Blender right now? Oh yeah, I was actually just editing it. So this, um, is this Premiere? Is yeah, this Premiere? this is Premiere. Okay, I'm, this looks very familiar to me. I'm, I'm editing. So you're making some Christmas balls? Um, decoration ornaments. balls? Ornaments? Yeah. No, that's so. probably the right term. <laughs> it's pretty cool because um, I, it's a video or a short on YouTube that's going to be airing on um, the 1st, on December 1st. Okay, so this will probably go up the day before that. Okay, so, so you got to go subscribe tomorrow. to Jacob. Got to go subscribe to so me. So that you can see his short when it pops up, and that way you can learn how to use Blender and make Christmas ornament yeah. balls. And when you duplicate the ornament balls, watch this. See? Okay, I'm going to make a bigger screen so you can see it a little bit better. See how they're turning different colors? Oh, that's fine. Whoa. It, went, it, it started it over. It's the end of the, end of the video. End of the video. Yeah, but it's looping, so that's pretty fun. But also, I made it so the top of the ornaments, also, when you duplicate it, watch, see? Oh, yeah, they change color, too. Yeah, there's only gold and silver, you can see down here. With nodes. That's nodes. That's some nodes. When Jacob starts talking about Blender, he usually goes into a whole different set of vocabulary words. I find it really amusing, personally, and I try and use the vocabulary words. And I feel like that's how I learn the vocabulary words, is I use them and assume that I'm gonna get it incorrect, and then sometimes I hit, hit it and I act like I know what I'm talking about. And it's funny to me because I feel like these very specific genres of interest end up having their own vocabulary words. I'm the same way when I get together with magicians. If I sit down with a table full of magicians, we start saying things that make no sense to anybody else that is not a magician that overhears what we're saying. But to us it all makes sense because we've all read magic books and watched magic tutorial videos. And I also think that's super fun because like you can meet somebody for the first time, like Jacob could meet somebody and find out that they do Blender and they'll both be able to talk to each other in that way even though they've never talked to each other before. They'll be able to like communicate with this whole different set of vocabulary words from somebody who's never used Blender before. And I just think that's that's really cool. It's like a cool like bonding thing that happens when you have a special interest. Hey you! I like your outfit today. Yeah? Do you have snowmen on your outfit? This little guy gets around all over the place now. Where are you going? You going for the staircase? What are you doing? Why are you going up the stairs? Oh, Teddy up! Teddy up! I see that you brought your book out. I did. <laughs> Bailey got this book for her birthday. What, uh, how far are you into the book? I with finished the it like two days after I got it. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I've reread it like multiple times. Oh, how many times have you read this book? Maybe 20? You've read this book 20 times since you've gotten it? Yeah, but I've read one chapter in particular more than that. How'd you, so you, you didn't like it then? What? You didn't like the book? I love the book! Oh, I know, I'm just saying, like, you only read it 20 times, so... Oh no, I loved it. Bailey, do you remember when you used to do Bailey's bookshelf? Uh, yeah, that was a long time ago. But if you do a little book review right now, it'll be like a mini Bailey's bookshelf. Hello and welcome to Bailey's bookshelf! <laughs> We're gonna play the books and answer the questions and read a book and talk to you! That was pretty close. Hello, welcome to Bailey's bookshelf, where I answer your questions and read a book and tell it to you. Perfect! You know what's funny? Is you <laughs> saying that, that just like, up. yeah, you just sang it once, and then I took a little pretend <laughs> piano, like it's a xylophone piano that has like four keys. And I tried to find the keys that matched your voice as closely as possible and did it a few times. And then that was your theme song yes. back, way back when you did that in like 2013. Which book is this? Oh, this is the, the last book for now. There's gonna be another one, I think, and then that's gonna be the end, which is really sad. This is Keeper of Velocity, Stellar Loon. I think I started reading this book series like five years ago. I really love it. It's really good. I have not read this book series. Should I start with this book? 
No. I'll read it 20 times. Read it 20 times, but read the first one first. Okay. I really, really enjoyed it, um, especially the end. The first part wasn't very interesting, mostly because there's a certain character that wasn't there, and I was really upset. I really missed him. Okay. And no spoilers, no spoilers. I'm trying not to spoil anything. Are you gonna keep it quiet about that one? <laughs> okay, never mind. I just know which characters you like in these books, and if one was missing, it's probably that one. I really loved the last half. It made me very happy. Uh, and I, I loved it all, but just the last half was the best part. It's a really good book series. It's worth reading all Nine and a half books. There's a half book? Yes. Do they cut it in half this way or this way? I'm not sure. This, this way. way. That way. No, okay. you like cut it the, the inside okay. out. That makes more sense than And how then I was there's like a it. little tiny bit of book left that's there. I think if I was gonna write a half book, I'd just do it this way. <laughs> so we make a really thick, long book. But not this side, because this side would just fall apart. You gotta have the, <laughs> the binding side in order for it to work. Yes. I could go really in detail with all these book reviews, but like I definitely shouldn't because spoilers and this guy. Don't wanna spoil it for me. No. So Bailey has read all of these books, and if there's anybody out there that has also read all of these books, please let us know in the comment section what you thought of it, because Bailey, We'll talk about this I for will. a long time. Hours. And she's always looking for somebody that knows something about the books. I am. Yes. So, she's the person to talk to. Talk to me. She's the expert. I'm the expert. My yes, gymnastics. You're ready for gymnastics? Yes, gymnastics. Yeah, you're at gymnastics, huh? Yeah. Are you going to do a good job? Good job. A good job? Okay. Um, this. You're going to stand over there? Yeah. Wait your turn? Okay, go for it. How's gymnastics going? Good. Good? Are you working on your forward roll in gymnastics? Yeah. Are you working on the balance beam? Yeah. Are you working on the trampoline? Yeah! <laughs> Do you go into the foam pit? Yeah. I jump into the foam pit. You jump into the foam pit? Yeah. Yeah. You look like you go into the foam pit very confidently. And a clothes. And you wear your blueberry gymnastics clothes. Did Jacob get you those for your birthday? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. Yeah. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that clear plastic tape is the actual worst. Yeah. We learned some cool new blender terms. And finally we learned that when it comes to book reviews, Bailey still got the chops. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. Take us out, Duncan.